how to make a buffer zone around an object which is a point, a line or a polygon. Okay, so let's start to put uh, a background, for example, a quick map, an open street map map. Okay, it's here. Nice. Let's go in France because I will do an example relatively to video number seven, you know, because I asked some ex exercise okay, to my student. So let's go here. And first of all, let's check something very important about the projection. EPSG 3857. I want to check if it's in meter or degrees because look at that. The world can, is not flat, uh, so it's divided in its around, it's, divi it's a globe, it's divided by 360 degrees, and one degree is then a distance. When you do navigation with a boat or with a plane or on a lot of maps, the distance will be in degrees, degrees and even minutes to be more precise, because you can see. Uh, it, it's, a, it's not a flat world, okay? And when you will do a projection on a, ma on a map which is flat, then you will have a distortion. You will have some projection in degrees for the distance, and you will have projection where they will convert it in meter, meters, okay? So check, double click on your map, and go on information to check if your CRS, which is this one over there, is in a meter. You need a meter. That's good, 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 good. Okay, for my case, I need a meter. If it's not the case, uh, you will have big trouble when you will do the, the treatment. Okay, now I want to do some, uh, let's say, some orchids position. I want to map some points which are orchids let's say for example but check here ah, it's not nice this nasty software proposed to you a projection which is which is not the same as my background so click on it and propose the project one which is 3857 good which is in meter okay perfect if you do double click indeed information it will be in unit meters okay obviously because we have the same projection okay then I will edit some position of orchids here here random here and let's say we want to draw to map a buffer zone of full protection around them let's say we want 500 meters around them of full protection so you want to work on those vectors remember this is raster this layer and this one is a uh, vector so we want to treat those vectors where can you find that here you can see there is vector and raster so this is how to treat how to have fun how to play with your vector or raster now we want to play on the vector so if we want to make a buffer zone it should be here haha <laughs> so on my computer on my version i don't know why but i should have several tools but at least for pedagogic purpose it's good because you can see that if you have trouble on your computer it can happen because believe me you will have troubles also sometimes you will have bugs on your uh, projects so I don't know why it's not here if you know please you can write some comments but it's actually here after help there is mini bug he left vector in French with things in French over there and this should be here for you hopefully maybe you will be like me and here there is tool geo treatment tools and buffer then he's asking you where do you want me to make a buffer zone so there is only um, here one choice with a vector it's orchid okay so i click orchid distance it's in meter you can change kilometer feet etc etc 
I'll keep the international one meters. Watch out here for you. Maybe you will have degrees, big troubles. Okay, I mean big troubles. You just have to change all your layers with a projection in meters. Okay, you will have to change the uh, the, the projection. Okay, change with a projection in meters. Okay, otherwise here it will be degrees and big big trouble. Okay, I mean trouble. You will uh, you will cry. So let's say we want 500 meters of buffer zone, full protection around each orchid. Okay, then segments, uh, round, etc. It's uh, especially when you have a line, you want to make a buffer zone around a line. It's hard to make, you know, the rounds after each change in angles. Uh, it, it will be more clear when, when I will do an example with a line. Okay, so if you increase the segment you will have a nice round shape around your buffer but for now it's uh, it's enough okay you run run Ta -da! and the buffer zone appeared here I close and now you can see it's a polygon it's not a point huh? it's a polygon it's a full shape um, uh, of uh, an area with a surface around my point. I don't see my orchids anymore because I have to change the order of the layers. I put it on the top and now I can see them. Okay, you can change obviously right click the opacity, the color, and everything in symbology. For example, I want something red, opacity. Or whatever, okay. Oh, I want something red. Okay, you can change, you can play with your buffer zone, etc. etc. And when I we talked about the uh, you know, the segment, it's about that if I add more segments, I will have more uh, sh uh, round shape around my little orchids. My little points here. Okay, so let's say now you have a river. In my previous example, in my, my little homework to my student, I asked to do uh, a buffer zone around the Oosh River. The Oosh River start here. So you can measure, I asked five kilometers around uh, uh, of, of the river. And I want a buffer zone of 200 meters to protect it against pollution. So it starts here. You can measure, for example, five kilometers, but I know it's it's around here. So I will draw a line, river. This is the name of my new vector line. Okay, watch out. The project is this one 3857 in meter okay are you sure you want to override it yes already exists mm -hmm. so and i make it so my river click 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 is here right click okay so no attributes so far and then on my river i click on it i want to make a buffer zone now you see there is several vector layer i want to make a, a buffer zone around this one the river 200 meters and i want a nice uh, round shape each time it will change uh, the angle so i will say 50 i want a round shape uh, at the end etc I run and ta -da. so I can change uh, the name. Uh, I forget to write buffer zone orchid um, orchid here and here, for example, buffer zone for my river, for example. But you can recognize I put the river on top of it, and you can see the river. And again, you can change everything. But now you have a buffer zone drawn. And you can say, okay, 
we can destroy all the houses of the day. <laughs> for example, I don't know. It's an example. Okay? And here the segment. It's about that. How many segments you want to have a nice, uh, smooth shape. Okay, it's about that. Same, same for polygon. You want polygon. Allez, let's go for a little polygon. A forest. Let's say we have a forest. So it's a polygon. Again, we want the same uh, projection. CRS. Okay. And here. Mm -mm -mm. My forest. Let's say I want a buffer zone around this little forest. Okay. Et voilà. Now, on the, I select this layer. Buffer. Let's say you want a protection of <laughs> one kilometers. Woo! Around it, okay, around my layer forest, which is a polygon. You can recognize the icon, huh? icon point, icon polygon, icon line. And let's add a lot of segments to have a nice shape. Run, close. Obviously, it's huge because I said one kilometer around my forest. Ok, et voilà. So, hop, if I want to see the other little buffer, where are they? I forget. Voilà, I need, yeah, obviously, I need to change opacity if I want to see them. Et voilà, you know how to do some uh, buffer. The main problem will be about the degrees, okay? If your layers, your different layers here are not in meters, about the unit, but in degrees, here you will have degrees. And it won't be nice, <laughs> okay? You will, you will have to convert degrees in meters but it's very complicated because it depends where you are on the world and you will all the best is to change all um, all of the projection in a projection a proper project projection in meter okay et voilà